Testosterone is produced in the testes and promotes the building of muscle, bone mass, and blood cell production. Furthermore, testosterone has a role in masculine development and in the production of sperm cells through spermatogenesis. When the hypothalamus detects low testosterone levels, it responds by releasing gonadotrophin-releasing hormone, GnRH, which targets the anterior pituitary gland. This results in the anterior pituitary gland producing luteinizing hormone, LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH. These two tropic hormones will then target the gonads via the bloodstream. FSH will target Sertoli cells located in the seminiferous tubules, which will produce androgen-binding protein, ABP. LH targets Leydig cells in the interstitial space, resulting in testosterone production. The purpose of ABP is to bind with testosterone in order to keep testosterone concentration high, which is vital for spermatogenesis. In addition to the ABP, testosterone will bind to the sex hormone binding globulin, which will allow testosterone to travel through the bloodstream and reach its target cells, known as the Sertoli cells. Testosterone has two pathways that increase gene expression in the Sertoli cell nucleus, which promotes spermatogenesis. The first pathway is known as the classical testosterone signaling pathway. Testosterone will cross the plasma membrane of the Sertoli cell and bind with a protein called the androgen receptor, AR. The AR will then undergo a conformational change and will proceed to enter the nucleus and target AR elements. Additionally, the binding of the AR to the ARE will recruit co-activated protein and will activate the AR-inducible gene. The second pathway involves kinases and is known as the non-classical testosterone signaling pathway. It is similar to the classical pathway, however, instead of targeting ARE, the AR will bind to proto-oncogene tyrosine protein kinase SRC. The activation of the SRC will cause it to phosphorylate the epidermal growth factor receptor EGFR. This will stimulate the EGFR and force it to undergo the MAP kinase cascade, which will trigger the P90RSK kinase, locating the nucleus to phosphorylate the CREB, which is a transcription factor. The activation of the CREB will recruit co-activator proteins and will in turn activate the AR-inducible gene. Testosterone acts in a negative feedback loop. When enough testosterone is produced, it will send negative feedback to the hypothalamus and anterior pituitary, inhibiting further release of GnRH, FSH, and LH.